quickly over what that means for the Rockies and opening day at Coors Field. And we begin at six with a story you will see only on four. Police searching for a man they say sent his five-year-old daughter to school with a bag of cocaine. Now the drugs were discovered by a teacher at a school in Steamboat Springs. CBS 4's Sean Boyd is here with this exclusive story. And Sean, this little girl was just a kindergartner. Yeah, and police say she had no mm -hmm. idea that these drugs were there. Her teacher found them in the hood of the little girl's coat when she gave her a hug as she walked into class. The detective handling the case wouldn't say how much cocaine, only that it was a large quantity. What concerns him even more is that many street drugs like cocaine in Steamboat and across the state are being mixed with fentanyl, the drug that killed five people in Commerce City last month. Yeah, it was completely shocking. Steamboat Springs Detective Sam Silva says he doesn't know yet if the cocaine a five-year-old girl unknowingly brought to school had fentanyl in it, but he can't help but think about what might have happened had the little girl's teacher not discovered it. If she would have gotten into that, just being cocaine or giving it to her friends, not knowing it was, it could have killed multiple children. Just the cocaine would have been enough, would have been lethal. Two milligrams of fentanyl, less than a grain of salt, can kill you. It's not just being mixed with cocaine, but sprayed on marijuana and pressed into pills being sold as Xanax and oxycodone. The problem with those pills is that they're, they're made, you know, on the black market, so there's no control of how much is in them. Already, Silva says seven people in Steamboat have died from fentanyl overdoses. Pretty high number for a, a rural town. And it comes as the police department experiences a staffing crisis. It's down eight officers. Silva says one fentanyl overdose death takes hundreds of hours to investigate. Because of how bad it is nationwide and within the state, um, getting, you know, federal assistance on a case is, is really hard. But he says right now federal court is the best option. There's not in Colorado a law specific to uh, homicide in result of an overdose. State lawmakers are looking to change that along with a 2019 law that makes four grams or less of fentanyl a misdemeanor, which in Steamboat means a ticket. Selling drugs that could literally kill the next person that takes a single dose. And he says it's only a matter of time before that person is a kid in Steamboat Springs. It's just a matter of time before we see something that tragic. As for the kindergartner with cocaine, Detective Silva suspects her dad put the drugs in the hood of her coat when they moved to a new apartment recently. The girl's parents are divorced. Mom told Silva she didn't know about the cocaine. Police are searching right now for the dad. Meanwhile, Steamboat Springs City Council approved a pay increase for officers and a recruiting position in hopes of dealing with that staffing crisis they've got. So, Sean, when will they be able to know if there was fentanyl involved? It, it could be some time. Police, when it's cocaine right. and it's powder form, you can absorb that through the skin. So right now, they aren't even touching Too it. Dangerous. They just send yeah. it into the lab and get it tested to find out if fentanyl is in it. That's crazy. Well, thank you, Sean. Well, a